Welcome everyone to Pandora. A great non-conference matchup is upon us. And we're happy to have you with us here on WOSN for all the action as the eight and six Bluffton Pirates battle the 12 and three Pandora Gilboa Rockets. Kevin Peel, Darren Gilbert with you in the booth, our fantastic WOSN crew welcoming you here to the launch pad and very excited to see how this one pans out. Been thinking about this matchup all week and a critical non-league game for both of these teams, both coming off of completely different results last night in league play. So now for Bluffton, they're trying to bounce back. Meanwhile, PG trying to keep the momentum going. Yeah, last night's schedule, you know, Bluffton give everything they had last night and put up a, a, an extremely well-fought game with Spencer. Premier Division Three programs in Northwest Ohio this year under Coach Kevin Sensible with three minutes to go, partner. It was a two-point game, and I think it ended up 12. But you know, you know they give they give the effort. My you know concern coming in tonight is Tank, you know, playing against a very good Pandora Gilboa Rocket team that is very well coached. You got two veteran coaches here tonight. Pandora last night, you know could, you know, call the dogs off because they won by, you know, roughly 40 over Cordy Rawson. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I'm sure he got to get to his bench last night, so they may have a little fresher legs than Bluffton. But, you know, you're, you're looking at a protege, Todd Bobla, who is under Jim Rookie, and we both know what Jim has done there at Finley. So if you, if, if you want a playbook, you know, ask Todd Bobla. It's probably the size of an encyclopedia. And Mike Lee, with his wealth and knowledge, former uh, administrator and retired uh, basketball coach from Minster, just couldn't get enough of it. But uh, it's going to be a great game tonight. You know, numbers-wise, looking on the stat sheets, it's very evenly matched, so to speak. So, yeah, we're, we're going to see between the lines tonight who, who wants it the most. Eight and six, four and two, an NWC play for the Pirates to this point and playing Spencerville. They came out with the energy that they wanted last night and made our second half run as well to make things difficult on Spencerville. And the Bearcats were very appreciative of the effort that Bluffton supplied last night. And that's why PG tonight has to be so careful to not allow Bluffton to get off to a strong start out look, of the gates. If you look, Kevin, at both of their schedules to date, they have lost to some really good teams. I know Pandora has lost to uh, Ottoville. They've lost to Kaleida. And then they took, you know, took one on the chin down at Arlington. But Jason Berman does a great job. And then Bluffton, they've already played, you know, the likes of Ottawa Glendorf and Convoy Crestview, just to just to uh, a couple games within that schedule too. So it'll be an interesting contest tonight. Bluffton in red, the Pirates will move right to left as you watch in this opening half, and the PG Rockets left to right in the home whites. We are off and rolling with PG winning the toss and tap. Aiden Harris with the basketball for the Rockets. Down low drive, puts it up over the top and airmailed it. It missed there from Jake Mag, the senior, on the first shot attempt. Good Bluffton job the other way. John Paul Yoder right there doing an excellent job just walling up, making it difficult for that shot attempt for Jake Mag. Down low pass and nice move inside and lay in for John Paul Yoder, the 6'3 junior, gets the first points of the night for Bluffton. Good job posting up right there, getting down low and getting his jersey number to that passer. Nice entry, nice finish. And Aiden Harris, 19 points in the win over Corey Rawson last night. Layup missed, battle for the loose ball. And a tie-up is going to go in favor of Bluffton. Nice backdoor cut there by Derek Mag. Tried to finish with the left hand, got it up high on the backboard, and just rolled off the front of the rim. A loaded gym tonight for the action. Fan bases representing here this evening. Three deep from the left wing, and that one a little too strong from Merrick Donaldson. His first shot attempt of the night. And 13 points in the loss yesterday, ultimately to Spencerville. Puts it on we the got deck a hand and there's check, a don't we? quick push there. A foul on Donaldson, which will be his first. 
What are your keys tonight for PG? Trying to I just think game? PG, you know, Bluffton's going to try to run it up and down the floor, and they can really shoot the basketball from the perimeter. So, and you know, Coach Lee has got to defend the perimeter. He's got to make sure he plays his game and uh, make sure they rebound. Harris stops, pops, and that one wouldn't roll over the front of the rim. And Bluffton clearing the miss. Push there, and then eventually a foul call. Carson Sober was given a ride there moments ago. Yeah, I had the pleasure of coaching Derek in spring ball AAU, and he is a very, very tenacious defender, and he will get right up into you and likes to use his hands. And now going the other way. Offensive foul right back, this one against Sober. Team second on the Pirates. Tight scoreboard presented by Sprunger Insurance with locations in Pandora and Bluffton. Go Rockets. At the top of the circle here, Aiden Morris. And Harris a shot off the flange and a long rebound. 0 for 4 start from the field for the Rockets. And jarring the ball loose, that's off Bluffton. Off Wade Ginther out of bounds. Nice defensive play there on, along that far sideline. Yeah, that was Aiden Morris. Got his hand in there and banged the basketball off of the, the offensive player of Bluffton, forcing that turnover. You're exactly right. Nice play. And a bounce pass to the right wing to Derek Mag. Morris up top. Rockets deliberate with their set. Needs a little help. He's got to get rid of it and does to Jake Mag inside and it blocked. Got the ball back though. That's last touch by Colin Harris. It was knocked off him. Out of bounds. Great defense by the Pirates. Yeah, John Paul Yoder's come to play at the defensive end. That time he got his hands on the basketball, forcing that turnover. So Bluffton the 2 0 lead and the ball in the front court. Deep three, and that one would not fall. That one missed by Soper from deep. Driving kick. Inside floats it up, popped out of there for Derek Mag. 0 for 6 start from the field now for PG. Down the floor, and Soper hammered heading to the basket, and it'll go to the free throw line. Yeah, I think they got Colin Harris on that one right there. Got him across the arm. Foul Aiden Morris, his first team second. Web Insurance Agency serving Lima and Allen County for more than 100 years with offices in downtown Lima and Bluffton. That was a Web Insurance Agency free throw and it went through for Carson Soper. Carson heading into the weekend. 10 points a game, average. 56% at the charity stripe. Two Knocked them both there. in, didn't he? Mm -hmm. Nicely done for a 4 0 Bluffton lead. Bounce pass now to Aiden Harris. Drives inside with a little contact, absorbs it, and finishes off the glass. First points for Aiden Harris. Yeah, Aiden Harris right there. Could have settled for the 15 footer, a good shot. He decides to take a great shot, get the ball to the rim. Nice move. Soper, nice fake, down low, and bucket and one. Muscle up John Paul Yoder, and he's headed to the free throw line for a chance at a three-point play. Yeah, John's getting it done at both ends of the floor right now. He's nice post up there, nice finish with the left hand. Low and wide, took the contact, going to get the old-fashioned and one. And Nate Mag, the foul, his first. Extend the lead, too strong. Battle for the board, and eventually won by Aiden Morris. Four points for Yoder, and a four-point lead. Halfway point in the opening stanza. Dribble drive, all the way in, and a finger roll. Boy, it looked like a carbon copy, other than he finished with the right hand right there. Nice take again by the young man. Colin Harris, that too. And 
it, six to four. On the Sprunger Insurance scoreboard. Soper swings it around the perimeter. Teron Boblet with a touch. Dribbling it out now, Wade Ginther. Boblet. Bluffton being slowed down in this opening period. It is a half court game in the first five minutes. No real chance for the Pirates to speed it up. So Harris got blown off the ball because of a screen underneath. And Mike Lee was hoping for a travel, didn't get it, but there was a miss by Landon Worcester down low on the layup. Now an open three, Colin Harris splash. That's Colin actually Harris. Derek Mag. Derek Mag, the three. And he can do that. If you leave him open and he gets in one of those rhythms, he can knock that thing down. Derek Mag, the three, his first points, 7-6. It's his 19th three on the season for the Rockets. The three, hoping for an answer, Boblet, and then out of bounds, couldn't save the rebound, Aiden Harris, after the missed three. Season 18 of Sports Report continues Friday night. Join Patrick Kamler for a full hour of the most comprehensive basketball coverage around all season long, Fridays at 10 p.m. on WTLW. And Aiden Harris trying to get a steal here. They're on the deck, looking for help, and finally able to get the ball away out of his hands. Love seeing that. Both teams getting on the floor after it's scrapping and after and getting that 50-50 loose ball. This one went to the home Rockets. Triple handoff for Aiden Harris. And spin move. Inside, tough drive. And Aiden Harris finished. He has four. Likes that left side of the rim, doesn't he? Mm-hmm. Two for four from the field, missed his first two, has made his last two. And PG on a 7-0 run, now a steal. Created by Owen Huffman, down the floor, lays it in. Owen Huffman, his first points for the junior and a timeout by Coach Boblin. 11-6, Rockets in the lead, 121 to go, opening quarter on WOSN. Tonight's scoreboard is presented by Sprunger Insurance with locations in Pandora and Bluffton. Go Rockets. It's an 11-6 lead for Pandora Gilboa over Bluffton late in this first quarter. And right now, PG bringing a couple turnovers, They're really diving all over the deck for the basketball. A very strong finish to this quarter. Well, I think the two key factors, like you said, the loose balls, Obviously, the defense with the deflections and also getting to the rim with the basketball. Soper the feed down low, and that's last touched. Again, by Branson Hilty. Another deflection, forcing another turnover. You know, talking to Coach Lee this summer, he was really excited about this bunch. Two seniors on the team. He felt like they're not going to be the biggest team, but they play very well together. And you can see that right there. Bounce pass and Harris the finish. Oh, Aiden to Collin for the bucket. Pretty execution right there. Those two each with four points. You can just see that developing the backdoor cut. And dribbled off his foot, turnover. Huffman on the run. Rockets to the rim. And look at them crash the boards after the miss. And Harris has to give it off. Huffman now. Drive. And gets around a defender and finishes Owen Huffman with four points as well. Now these buckets are coming within 10 feet of the basket. Deep offline and a rebound. Heads to Ginther and stolen away. Colin Harris up the floor. Harris lays it in right before the horn. PG with an explosion, 15-0 run. And at the end of the quarter, the Rockets lead the Pirates 17-6. Second quarter action coming up on WOSN.
One quarter in the books here in Pandora. The Rockets leading the Bluffton Pirates 17 to six. Strong start for PG, including a 15-0 run to end that opening quarter. Kevin Peel, Darren Gilbert with you in the booth, and PG just looked like a different team last half of that quarter. Well, you know, when he goes to his bench and his bench comes in and, and extends this thing, that's a tribute to how many kids you can play. And they extended that thing and got it, like you said, 15 to nothing run and it end up 17 to six. And Bluffton's decided to come back and a little match up like a three, two. And inside Hoffman and lost it out of bounds. That's off Derek Mag. Real quick, Kevin, I'd like to extend my condolences to Coach uh, Mike Lee of Pandora Gilbo. It's been a couple rough months for that man, and I call him a man because he's a genuine, uh, true man of character and, and just the way he handles himself and in the coaching com community. And, and he lost his mom and dad both in December and January. So I want to extend my condolences personally and as well as everybody associated with WOSN to Mike and his immediate family. Outstanding gentlemen, outstanding program. And tough news to say the least. Battling through it all. Team four. Coaching a special squad this year here in the 22-23 uh, season. A couple subs coming in here for the Rockets. Colin Harris returns. Boblett in the left wing with the basketball for Bluffton. Where are the Pirates going to find some offense? They have not been able to speed up this game at all. It's been transitioned the other way. Off turnovers. Nearly another one there, although that's last off of Aiden Harris. You know, I have not seen Pandora play personally, but I'm telling you what, they move their feet exceptionally well and they use their hands and they will beat you to the spot. And if they beat you to the spot, they can take away a lot of your offensive ideas and sets and make you play to your weakness. And Bluffton, of course to find the energy after a very difficult game against Spencerville. Very physical team, very talented team. Spencerville staying unbeaten and NWC play with the win last night. There's a turnover on the way by Donaldson. Just not quite on the same page right now, the Pirates offense. Well, you know, and, and their game starts with the perimeter jump shot and you know, Pandora's doing a really good job chasing those three-point shooters off the line and making them put it on the floor. Oh, this is a deep corner three. That went off the rim. Missed by Derek Mag, who was making a bid for his second three-pointer. Colin Harris near steal. It's out of bounds into the student section. Great atmosphere here tonight. This is personally my first visit here. Very impressed. Oh, it's, you know, they, they love basketball around here and mm -hmm. just like a stone throw away from both communities, so. And it's a nice non-league game, you know, with this Martin's RPI and everything that's gonna be coming out. We talked before the game, the girls draw tomorrow and the boys next Sunday. Driving kick, deep three, Donaldson, yes. It's a big hit for that young man. That's his 35th on the year, 33%. Springfield Fireworks in Bluffton is your one-stop shop for the largest selection of fireworks and novelty items. Open seven days a week, nine to seven. There's a Springfield Fireworks three-pointer there from Donaldson. And the Pirates get on the board. Kevin, I want to correct myself. This Martin RPI, the seedings are already going to be done. The coaches are just going to get together and put themselves in their bracket, so to speak. This is a, what do, I, what do I want to use? A first year trial run to see how it works with Northwest Ohio. I know Central District down in Columbus, they do the super sectional thing and 40 some teams and they place themselves, but it'll be interesting to see what happens with this Martin RPI. 
it's so new, we're yet to find out how the winds are going to affect the points down the stretch. I know Antwerp won a game and actually lost some points last night. And so, you know, as part of the strength of schedule certainly determines points and how they're allocated, but it's so new. We'll see how it all pans out. This is another tough possession here, bluffed in. It's a timeout. It's Bobla takes a 30 second timeout. Smart play there. It looked like they were about to turn the basketball over and they'll extend it to a full. Rockets 17, Pirates 9 on WSA. Check out our website, WOSN.TV, for scores and standings for more sports and teams than anyone in the state. Check out our broadcast schedule, upcoming games, social media posts, and more at WOSN.TV. 17-9, PG leads Bluffton, nearing the halfway point of this second quarter. Donaldson's three before that timeout, and subsequently the timeout there from Coach Boblett taken, saves this possession for a Bluffton team that's working hard right now and just trying to hang around in this game. Yeah, they're making a little push and a little run here. I think that was a really good timeout just to regroup his kids because if he doesn't, he's gonna lose that thing on a five second call. Donaldson inside, blocked but a foul. Aiden nice. Harris will pick up the foul. Nice strong move by that young man getting to the rim, getting his shoulder square, gonna get two free throws. As a result, 80% free throw shooter. A tremendous shooter. And of course, right on cue. That one did not fall, but he'll look to make the next one. And bluffed and battled back. And actually tied the game at 35 in the third quarter yesterday. Before Spencerville was able to pull away and win the contest. Yeah, they, they really got hurt interior wise. They you know, they got a six foot six kid at Sutoff. It's a junior there at Spencerville, and I think he got him for 18. And inside Harris couldn't quite get the roll. Now bluffed in the other way on the move. Donaldson thought about it, gave it off. Boblet three. Yes! Big shot by that young man from the left corner, his 14th on the year. Coming in just over 31% on threes. It's a Springfield Fireworks three-pointer, and it's a four-point lead now. Back to 7-0 run for Bluffton. Back to Colin Harris. Looking to get it inside, but a bump here on Boblet. That'll be a foul, foul his first. You know, this going to this 2-3 zone and this 1-2-2 two, two matchup that Coach Boblett is implemented and put in here, it's slowed down. You know, Pandora, as far as offensive execution and getting shots off. Colin Harris, the drive, the pass. Oh, nice rejection inside. Nate Mag couldn't finish. Resistance for the Pirates defense. They're roaring back. Soper hands off Donaldson. Back to Soper. Open. Shoots. And that one off to the left. Bluffton the rebound. Boblet again. Oh, that one hit off the top of the glass. A pretty shot there for Boblet. Up the floor. Nice find. Harris trapped under the basket, though. Couldn't lay it in. Now Bluffton in the backcourt. Yeah, I'm not even so sure he could have jump stopped there. He just got himself a little bit too deep under the bucket to get a shot opportunity up, a high quality one. Yeah. Ginther dishes it off, Soper inside, and it rolls in for Carson Soper, who has four and a timeout for Coach Mike Lee and PG. After a 15-0 run from the Rockets, now the Pirates counter with a 9-0 run, 2.17 to go, second
Welcome back everyone to Pandora. PG with a 21-18 lead over Bluffton heading to the second half. Kevin Peel, Darren Gilbert with you in the booth and our hardworking WOSN crew with you here today at the launch pad. Exciting game so far, DG. First quarter, all Rockets. Second quarter, all Pirates. Eight runs, wasn't it? What's going to give? What we have 15 to nothing run and yep. nine to nothing run or 11 to nothing, something like that. So yeah. Uh, you know, the game started out a little sloppy, a lot of turnovers, a lot of deflections, but both teams seemed to settle down. I think what got, you know, Bluffton back in the game was their ability to change the defenses up a little bit, and I think that slowed, you know, Pandora down enough to give Bluffton a little push offensively, and here we are, three-point game going into the third quarter. Bluffton eight and six on the season. Pandora Gilboa 12 and three on the season. Very exciting non-league matchup. And Bluffton now in this second half will move left to right as you watch it. On your screen in the visiting red and PG in the home white. See how it all plays out. Donaldson just a single three. And one free throw in that first half held just four points. Stops, turns, shoots, and hits. Nice That's move Donaldson. there. Nice start. Sure was. Good job with body control and getting that jump stop and knocking that one down. So now PG, after being outscored 12-4 in that second quarter, will look to find some answers. Dangerous bounce pass stolen by Soper. Aiden Harris trying to get it back. Steal, Boblet the other way, and Bluffton's in front. Boblet with five. And it's 22-21 Pirates. A little offense off their defense, deflection, got a breakout. This is now an extended 16-4 run 
for Bluffton. Drive, stop, pop, and a splash for Derek Mag, who has seven points. Playing with a lot of confidence right now, shooting the basketball. Donaldson wants to shoot, but won't. Little drive baseline, kick stolen by Colin Harris. Stepped onto the baseline there nearly and took it away. Pockets here with Mag inside drive and he is grabbed. That'll be a foul on Boblet. Foul on Boblet is second. And first team foul of the half. Tonight's scoreboard presented by Sprunger Insurance with locations in Pandora and Bluffton. Go Rockets. So Aiden Harris lobs it in. So Rockets get this set going on this possession. And Mag's got to get rid of it and does. Good job by Bob with there, shutting down the dribble drive of Derek Mag, making him give it up. Colin Harris, they double team him out top. Often bringing some pressure. Colin Harris couldn't get it to Aiden Harris. Did to Mag though, lobs it out top. Now Colin Harris, the blow by and the bucket. It rolls around and drops for Colin Harris, who has eight points. He likes putting the basketball on the floor and creating contact, taking it to the rim. Good job there by the young man finishing. And a three-point lead for PG. Soper will back it out. He's deed up there by Aiden Morris. Help defense there, not giving Soper an angle to shoot the three. He does anyway. He freed himself, and a Springfield Fireworks three-pointer for Soper ties the game. That was uh, deep, was it? Yeah. <laughs> Very deep. And Harris thought about a range shot as well. A long jumper spun out. And Bluffton. Soper inside, and that one rolls off, but a foul. Soper headed to the free throw line, two shots. You know, isn't it amazing what one jump shot will do for your confidence? Mm -hmm. You know, he just buried that long three and then turned right around and took that thing full length of the court, almost got him an and one. Four first half points for Carson Soper. And cannot hit the free throw. Web Insurance Agency free throw. Web Insurance Agency serving Lima and Allen County for more than 100 years with offices in downtown Lima and Bluffton. This is probably one of his deficiencies that he has. He's 56% from the line. Ooh, around the world and out for Soper. An empty trip. And Bluffton cannot regain the lead. Three. Open, oh, splash for Nate Mag. It's the three. They're gonna make that a two-pointer for Mag, foot on the line. Officials got together and said there was a foot on the line, so we're gonna give the young man a two here. That's a big shot, though, coming off the bench, huh? Yes. On the scoreboard, they gave the Rockets a couple extra points there that they should not have. It's a 27-25 lead. There four minutes to go in the third quarter. Inside drive, bucket and one. Wade Ginther inside, slashing to the basket. And he'll head to the Web Insurance free throw line. That's one of those sets Coach Boblet's got in his playbook, that little high key entry. And Wheel to the basket, nice move there by Ginther. 73% at the line, knocked that one down. And six points for Wade. Pirates in the lead. Scoreboard properly adjusted, by the way. Now it reads 28-27 on the Sprunger Insurance scoreboard. Balance scoring on both teams at the scoreboard. This is gonna be a dog fight to the finish. For the Rockets and the Pirates. Drive, Mag was shut off there. Colin Harris outside. Now goes inside, and no call there. Out of control 
Colin Harris, maybe lucky he didn't get a call. Donaldson, nice transition defense goes inside. Donaldson lays it in. Oh, a tough layup from Donaldson. He has eight, and the Pirates by three. You got to like that from a coaching standpoint. He didn't settle from the three-point line, put his head down, and got to the rim. Wide open. Colin Harris, the answer. The Springfield fireworks three for Colin Harris to tie the game. Nice execution there. Nice set by Coach Lee. His team executed it to perfection. Tied again. Three minutes to go in the third. Right wing now dish to Soper. Down low. Ginther. Inside. Tough. I couldn't quite finish. Down low on the layup. Colin Harris gives it off to Mag. Harris drive, floats it up, wouldn't fall. Offensive rebound and now a foul on the floor. Nate Mag went flying in there to wipe the glass. Went after it, didn't he? 16 offensive rebounds coming into the night. He went after that one very aggressively and drew the foul. On Wade Ginther, his first, Harris open. Oh, left that one on the front of the rim. Someone falling away out of bounds on that three. Soper up ahead, drive, and lost it. Who's gonna get this basketball? Donaldson does. Lufton nearly turned it over. Great effort by both ball clubs going after it. And Ginther got Derek, pushed. Didn't they? Mag's third. Team third on the Rockets. Make sure everyone to check out the WOSN YouTube page for highlights of tonight's Stolly Insurance Hustle Award. We'll name that one a little later in the game. Inside. Now outside to Donaldson. Nice save there for the Pirates. A physical drive, a right-handed finish. That one glanced off the rim for Donaldson. Tied at 30 and into the front court now. Aiden Morris. Dangerous bounce pass. Boblet takes it away and gives Bluffton the lead again. Great hands by Boblet stepping in there, taking it the length of the court for the easy deuce. Seven points for Boblet. Aiden Morris inside. Now a bounce pass and Hoffman. Was fouled going in. Great back cut right there. Nice little bounce pass. Fallon Worcester is first team third. Here's Landon the Owen Huffman, isn't it? Huffman. Get him a couple free throws. Landon Worcester is first foul. And a free throw good. There for Owen Huffman. As he works his way onto the board. Now correct me if I'm wrong, I've been keeping stats here. That's the first web insurance agency free throw attempt of the night for PG. Wow. Late in the third, and Hoffman hits both. 70% free throw shooter, looked really good on those two. And they're tied at 32 again, the Pirates and the Rockets. Boblet a drive. Donaldson, another spin move, kick. Soper thought about a three and didn't take it. Good close out there by Colin Harris. Donaldson the drive and the dish, Soper. Left it there on the left wing. Um, difficult possession here for Bluffton. Nothing panning out, Donaldson. Push it off to Ginther. Ginther inside, forced it up and wouldn't go, and Harris the rebound. Yeah, I think that's one Coach Boblet would like to have back. A lot of contact in there, but you know, there was no foul. It was all vertical, but you know that's one that I think they probably should have uh, kicked that one out. Instead of getting a good shot, get a great shot. In Morris. Looking for a screen to be set. Jake Mag was tying his shoe there for about 10 seconds. That 
my big part of the holdup. Hoffman down low, fires a pass, and that one got, can't finish it off the glass, stripped out of the hands of Jake Mag with 7.3 to go in the quarter. Zach Neuenschwander was down low. Missed that shot. Yeah, Jake did everything right except finishing. As a big man, you can't bring that basketball down, and that's what he did and got it stripped. Rockets here will inbound the basketball. Colin Harris lobs it to Aiden Harris. Oh, what a design play. And Aiden laid it in at the horn. Just before the horn, Donaldson puts off the shot, and it's going to be well short. Great finish to the quarter for PG. They lead 34-32 on WLSN. Pandora Gilboa and Bluffton. This has been a classic non-conference matchup. 12 and three Rockets, eight and six Pirates. And we're coming down to the final quarter. 34-32 Rockets in the lead. Kevin and Darren with you in the booth. Thanks for joining us on the launch pad tonight for all the action. Colin Harris inside drive, thought about a three, and then could not hit the runner. Yeah, Bluffton went back to a zone set right there. Harris had the right idea, tried to take it to the rim, but officials thought there was an illegal, uh, illegal wall up action there, so no call on the play. Ginther inside for Bluffton in red, moving left to right as you watch it in this fourth quarter. Coach Todd Boblett telling the Pirates to back it out. Donaldson, this is deep. Oh, and he hits. Donaldson from way downtown. A Springfield Fireworks three gives the Pirates the lead. That one almost came from downtown Pandora, didn't it? Yeah. That was deep. Um, what was a stagnant possession? Donaldson with some fireworks. Nearly a steal there for Bluffton. The answer try is good for Aiden Harris, who's hit his last two. Harris with 11. Colin Harris with 11. PG by two. 21 of those coming into the night. 44% from beyond the arc for that young man. Ginther thought about it. Donaldson off the screen. Another. And that one off the rim wouldn't go. Morris the rebound. Boy, the Bluffton faithful would have exploded if that one would have went. But a drive inside. A contest and a miss on the drive there by Derek Mag. Soper thought about it. Goes baseline, the kick, got one off. Colin Harris out of bounds. Reminder that Springfield Fireworks in Bluffton is your one-stop shop for the largest selection of fireworks and novelty items. Open seven days a week, nine to seven. Springfield Fireworks three-pointers. We might see quite a few key ones in this fourth quarter, DG. And stolen away off the inbound pass. Morris the steal on the lob that wasn't converted. Aiden Harris will come to the basketball. 19 points in the win over Corey Rawson last night. 11 today. Out to Aiden Morris. A lot of high basketball IQ players out there on both teams. It's fun to watch. They react so well. There's the drive off the glass. That one maybe a bit out of control from Colin Harris. Couldn't convert it. Pirates had the ball back. Nearly a steal from Colin Harris, but Ginther wins it back. Soper into the front court. Timeout taken by Coach Boblin. We'll take it as well. 5.22 to go. Rockets by two on WOSN. Out of town or can't get WOSN, WOSN is now streaming our broadcast channel 24-7 online on Roku and Apple TV. Download our Roku channel and Apple TV app to subscribe. A $100 donation allows you to watch anywhere in the world. Visit app.wosn.tv to sign up. A 
if you asked me to sign up for this game, DG, well, I would in a heartbeat. You, I'm telling you, there's good basketball. I know you're from up in the Toledo area and, and Bowling Green, but Division Four basketball is really, really good in this area. And there's really good coaches. I mean, just excellent coaches. They teach the game the right way. The kids respond the right way. It's another level coming down here to watch a game, especially with these two programs, Bluffton and PG. Just basketball in general, Kevin, in Northwest Ohio is really good. I mean, Division One to Four, and the way they're coached and the communities are so involved, you know, watching the kids play and supportive. Packed house here tonight in Pandora. Wouldn't expect anything different. Extending that pressure out now. Knocked out of bounds. Possession will stay with Bluffton. I look across the gym. People are starting to lean down in their seats towards the court. Especially Bluffton with a chance to tie this game once again. Ginther used up his dribble. He's got to get rid of it and does to Yoder. Not a lot of mo movement here from Bluffton. Hope to get to Donaldson. Oh, between the legs, saved by Aiden Harris. Great job with the dig down into the post by Aiden Morris. And like you said, Harris ran that one down. Big, big turnover there by the Pirates. Colin Harris in the corner gave it off to Morris. Rejects the screen. Sober stepped in front, took it away. Numbers for Bluffton. Ginther up the floor. Dished it out. Boblet. They closed on him quickly. No three. Attempt for him, but a foul on the floor. Yeah, I think they got Huffman with a hand check. His first. And the fourth team foul. That's a good job by Bluffton. You know, coming down, didn't panic, turned the basketball over, went down, made a play with the defense, secured the basketball back. Soper. And nearly got a steal again of the aggressive defense from Colin Harris. Donaldson to Boblet. We'll drive. Dish it out to Soper. Soper into Harris. He's a left alone. That's a three. Springfield fireworks three for Soper. And his second three of the night. One point lead for the Pirates. Yeah, you can't give them space. Carson Soper into double figures with 10. Screen set, and there's a push. It's on Soper. And Soper with his second. Nice screen there by Nate Mag, established in position, holding his ground. And the official said Super ran through the screen, extended his arms. Great officiating crew tonight, Thomas Riepenhoff, Mitch Owen, and Mac Williams. A push there from Donaldson on Aiden Harris. They're gonna go one on one, Aiden Harris inside, and no call, keep the play moving. That's the, that's the one he's got to get in his left hand, Kevin. Donaldson inside, offensive foul. Barreled in to Nate Mag. And both coaches now are going to have to settle down. The intensity of this game is picking up, and so too on the whistles. But you could just see, I know Mag was way under the basket there, but there was just a little extra behind that drive from Donaldson, lowering the shoulder in at the rim. Well, we both know rule states if you give if you give the person possessing the basketball one step, that is a legal defensive position as long as you are vertical and you establish ground with your feet. Can't get it to him off the screen. Now they do find Aiden Harris. Morris at the top. Drive. Can't finish the layup. Mag, the rebound goes up and is fouled. Boy, is he quick off the floor. My goodness. He's one of those kids that just has a nose and a knack for the basketball. 
And some big free throw attempts here from the Webb Insurance Agency free throw line. Now three for three on the night. Nate Mag able to convert to tie the game. 68% at the charity strike. Web Insurance Agency serving Lima and Allen County for more than 100 years. Offices in downtown Lima and Bluffton. Second one gives the Rockets the lead. So 2.41 to go. Rockets in front. Good minutes by that young man, Nate Mag. Nearly a steal. Colin Harris, aggressive defense, kicked it to an open three. Ginther off the flange, rebound, and it's to Pandora Gobaa. After the miss from Ginther. Corner three, that's probably a dream on that possession, oh, had that shot attempt. Oh, absolutely. With how physical the defenses have been. Yes, yeah, Soper took it to the middle of the paint, drew the defenders. Nice, nice uh, execution. Oh, a block, Colin Harris barreled into a defender. The Pirates faithful, not very happy with the call. But right now we're at that stage of the game where every call, the universe turns in some actually, way, shape, or form. Actually, you know, the one I thought it was gonna be called was a, was a hand to the back on the dribble drive action before the contact. Yeah. So Colin Harris in the line, and he makes the first, no doubt about it. The Web Insurance Agency free throw falling through. Rockets, three straight free throws have given them a two point lead with two and 20 to go. So who's gonna step up down the stretch? That's the question in a massive non-conference game. Harris makes both, and he has 13 points on the night. Two big free throws by that young man, 64%. Soper, lost the handle, but he'll regather. Timeout taken by Coach Bobble. 2.03 to go, we'll take it as well on WOSN. Tonight's scoreboard presented by Sprunger Insurance with locations in Pandora and Bluffton. Go Rockets. EG 41 and Bluffton 38. Down to the wire we go. And I'll get this into the backcourt to Ginther. Ginther, Soper, Boblet, Donaldson, and lastly, Worcester on the floor. And a steal created by Huffman. Up the floor, bounce pass for Aiden Harris, who's blocked by a foul. Big time turnover there for Bluffton, and it ends up in two free throws for Aiden Harris. Third foul on Donaldson. That's what they do. They get a lot of deflections, and take their defense from steals and great offensive possessions. They are a plus 61 on the year in steals versus wow. opponents. Unreal. Turnover differential. Talk about it on the gridiron, you talk about it too on the hardwood. Finding a way, he knew he missed, got his own rebound, put it up and was fouled again. Aiden Harris broke towards the rim because he knew he was going to miss, and he got bumped after collecting the rebound. Second foul on Landon Worcester. So two more free throws. That was the first free throw miss of the night. And now this could turn into a three-point possession, which would be huge for the Rockets. Another Web Insurance Agency free throw coming up. And it's now a six point lead on the Sprunger Insurance scoreboard for BG. Their largest lead in quite a while. Half court 1 3 1 going by the Rockets here. 
Soper throws it out deep. Donaldson, need it, got it. Great execution by the Pirates. Springfield Fireworks three, now a rolling basketball. This is out of bounds to Bluffton. And a turnover for the Rockets right back after the momentum swinging three pointer from Donaldson. Now Bluffton has a chance to tie. And they're into the front court. Bounce pass. Donaldson thought about another. They close out on him this time. Lob it, Soper all alone for the tie. Yes! Carson Soper, his second straight three that he has made another Springfield Fireworks three from down six to tied with 52 seconds left. That timeout, Mike Lee will take it as well. Tied at 44 on WOSN. These teams trying to get their blood pressures down. What a ball game here at the launch pad. Tied at 44, PG and Bluffton. The Rockets have the basketball. There is, for Bluffton right now, just ice cold blood in their veins. Two big threes for Donaldson and Soper to tie this game when Bluffton was potentially staring down defeat. Well, they shared it. They shared the basketball. Dribble drive, kick to the backside, one extra pass. And you know, Pandora does the same thing. These kids know one another very well from summer basketball and just, it's just a great, great high school game tonight. It's almost like a tournament atmosphere game. It exactly feels like a tournament atmosphere. The end of January, this has been a great game. Colin Harris will bring it into the front court. The question will be how much time does Coach Lee want to take? He's going to Bluffton directing. Went, Bluffton went to a box and one. They did. The coach noticed it now. Having to come out and force the pace is Ginther. Try and force a turnover as well. Colin Harris isn't going to be able to just dribble this out. Nearly create a turnover. Harris doubled, gave it off Morris. Open jumper, nope, not taking. That's a travel on Nate Mag. Oh, that's a tough turnover for the Rockets there. If he would have just passed that up, he would have run a little more time off. Now Bluffton the chance to go for the win with 18 he seconds. He just didn't feel comfortable right there, Kevin, for some reason and shuffled his feet. Donaldson will bring it up with Ginther. Yeah, see, down to Pandora 10 seconds. Cannot foul. Donaldson down to five. He's got to move. Donaldson step back. Donaldson throws it up at the horn. No, we're headed to overtime. Couldn't get a great shot off. Let's go to an extra session here in Pandora. Rockets and Pirates tied at 44 on WOSN. Tonight's scoreboard presented by Sprunger Insurance with locations in Pandora and Bluffton. Go Rockets. It's all tied up. We're going to overtime. Bluffton 44, Pandora Gilboa 44. Kevin Peel, Darren Gilbert with you in the booth. What a game. And now 32 minutes wasn't enough to decide this one, which exactly. really isn't That's what surprising. I was getting ready to say the same thing. 32 <laughs> minutes wasn't enough, so let's go four more. You know, Bluffton right now has the luxury. The next foul on Pandora is going to put Bluffton at the free throw line for, or excuse, uh, yeah, Bluffton is in the bonus, and PG is not. Okay. Four fouls on Bluffton. No, scratch it. Four fouls yeah. on the Rockets, nine on Bluffton. Yeah, I was just looking at the Rockets with the B beside it. Yeah. That's, that's what I was looking at. Possession arrow will favor Bluffton. As PG will have the first possession of the overtime. 
The drive from Aiden Morris off the bottom side of the backboard. And now Bluffton will get a possession. Donaldson driving kick to Ginther. Back to Donaldson. Who held the ball exclusively on that last possession and missed a heave at the horn, which would have given Bluffton the win. Donaldson drives. Donaldson puts it up, will not go. And PG gets a stop. Good job by Pandora right there, walling up. Derek Mag with the rebound. Aiden Harris, bounce pass, down low, gets it right back. And Jake Mack, Harris double team, tough shot off the glass from a tough angle, and Aiden Harris banked it in, 16 points. Took it up strong, didn't he? He sure did. So the Rockets have the first bucket of the overtime session. And nearly a steal for Mag. They win the ball back. Worcester inside. Boblet three for the lead. Yes! Boblet, a Springfield Fireworks three pointer. And that's his second of the night. Pirates by one. Timeout. Coach Lee. 2.12 to go in overtime. Pirates 47, Rockets 46 on WOSN. Springfield Fireworks is your three-point sponsor tonight. Springfield Fireworks in Bluffton is your one-stop shop for the largest selection of fireworks and novelty items. Open seven days a week, nine to seven. And also, we'll try to name our Stolly Hustle Award, sponsored by Stolly Insurance, after the conclusion of this game. So many candidates. It will be quite a process to decide, but we will come up with one for you here. Great performances across the board. Both sides. PG out of the timeout from Coach Lee. Aiden Harris stops and then glasses it in. He's able to just get the defender away from him there and bank it in. 48-47. It, it was great patience because you know early on John Paul Yoder was right there and then he left the spot. Donaldson will take his time here for Bluffton. Bounce pass for Soper, a dangerous one, but Colin Harris had his hand on the back of Soper, and that's going to be a foul. First foul on Harris. Soper to trigger it in. Huffman and Jake Mag back in for PG. They've got one more foul to give. Lob inside, Ginther. Acrobatic finish wouldn't go. Tie up here. Soper does a great job tying it up and gets it back to Bluffton. Both of these coaches are like their players. They're gassed too. I mean, they're exerting a heck of a lot of effort and they're calling everything out of the playbook. Timeout taken by Coach Boblet. Another timeout for us. 1.33 to go in overtime. Rockets 48, Pirates 47. TV44 and WOSN are nonprofit organizations supported by viewers like you. Now is a great time to make a donation in any size as a way to say thank you for this sports broadcast. Go to WTLW.com and click donate here. Donations are accepted 24 hours a day. Just visit WTLW.com. The effort there from Carson Soper right before the break. Get that tie up after the miss from Ginther. That shows you just a little bit of the work ethic we've seen from both these teams tonight. It's been outstanding. Yeah, not only just taking the basketball, but slapping the basketball away, diving after the loose balls, trying to take charges, all the little things that makes coaches happy. Bluffton winning possession back. The arrow will switch now to PG. And the Rockets are in the bonus the rest of the way. It will be a double bonus, in fact, on the next foul from Bluffton. The PG has some fouls to give if they have to. 
Soper's gonna dribble out top, take some time here. Yoder comes out to set a screen. Soper needs some help, gave it off to Ginther. Drive, stop, double teamed, in trouble, gave it off to Soper. Soper trying to get to Boblet on the other side, it was batted out of bounds. Boblet was open too for a corner three potentially. I took a quick look at the score board and right now Bluffton has no timeouts left. They were very fortunate to get that ball out of the corner down there. Yeah, PG has two in case they need it. Soper off to Donaldson. Nice closeout by Huffman stopping a potential go-ahead three attempt. Soper hands off to Ginther, then sets the screen. Here's steal from Aiden Harris. Ginther inside. Nice pass. Yoder. And can't finish. It rolls off the rim. Oh, Yoder so close to putting Bluffton back in front. Now a foul given by Ginther on Aiden Harris. And the PG faithful excited, but there's still a lot of time here. And two critical free throws for Aiden Harris, who's three for four tonight from the Web Insurance Agency free throw line. Great execution by Bluffton. Took the ball to the basket, a little dump off pass. John Paul just a little bit short arm, but didn't get it high enough on the square. And Harris missed. A lot of time left though, partner, a lot of time. 37 seconds is worlds of time, potentially. Remember, Pandora still has a foul to give. And second one, splashed through by Aiden Harris. Two point game, 30 seconds to go. No timeouts for Bluffton, Soper. Oh, uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. They just called a timeout. This is intriguing. Yeah, because scoreboard is showing zero. Well, we got a free timeout, partner. We'll take it. 29.8 okay. seconds to go in overtime. 49.47, Rockets. So a timeout taken by Bluffton, 49.47. Just under 30 seconds to go in the first overtime session. Hey, you're backing me up on that, right, partner? My eyes were not deceiving me. There is a zero up under timeouts left. There was a zero for quite a, well, the entire overtime period almost, other than that Coach Boblet previous timeout. Soper cutting, giving, Boblet. Ginther inside to the rim, lays it in. Ginther ties the game at 49 with 12 seconds to go. Morris into the front court now, Coach Lee with a timeout. 9.1 seconds remaining, as you would expect. Difficult finish for Ginther inside and found a way to do it. Well, I think the coaches got him together and said, look, fellas, we're shooting 68% from the line as a team. Take the ball to the basket. You know, we're sitting right now. If they foul us on the floor, we get the ball out of bounds. If, if, if we take the ball to the basket and it goes in, there's a foul. You know, we got a chance to take the lead. Let's not settle with the three and let's take it to the rim. And what great execution, making the extra pass, and what an athletic play at the rim to get the bucket there. Tonight's scoreboard presented by Sprunger Insurance with locations in Pandora and Bluffton. Go Rockets. Tied at 49, PG and Bluffton. Now the Rockets will have a chance to end this ball game. They had a chance as well in regulation to end it. And then there was a travel, Nate Mag turnover, allowed Bluffton the final chance before the horn in the fourth quarter. See what, uh, see what Bluffton appears to be a zone, but I just want to see if it's going to be a soft man. Here we go, inbound to Morris. Yeah, they went with man. Colin Harris to Aiden Harris. Puts it up, tough shot, no, off the front of the rim. Soper the rebound, Boblet after the horn, heaves it off the top of the backboard. What's better than one overtime? Two overtimes. Let's go to it. That's next from the launch pad on WOSN.
36 minutes. Not enough here in Pandora tonight. Let's play for more. Bluffton and Pandora Gilboa tied at 49 in a non-conference matchup that has been outstanding. And that is quite an understatement. Kevin Peel, Darren Gilbert with you here in the booth. What's going to give in this game? These two teams are not giving an inch, and both of them played great games last night, especially Bluffton battling with Spencerville, an 11-point loss. Both these teams look fresh and ready to rock in this second they overtime. Do. Better energy than the first half. Now remember, even. Pirates get a timeout, so yep. they got one. Pandora should have two, so it should be two to one here, partner. Down low, Morris. Was open, dish it off, Aiden Harris lays it in for the first bucket of the period for the Rockets. Nice unselfish play there by Aiden Morris dumping that off. 19 points for Aiden Harris, second straight night with 19. Soper bounce pass, Yoder fouled, he's going to the line. Nice look down low from Soper to find John Paul Yoder who drew the foul. Fourth foul coming up here on Derek Mag. And two free throws for Yoder from the Web Insurance Agency free throw line. Web, Web Insurance Agency serving Lima and Allen County for more than 100 years with offices in downtown Lima and Bluffton. Big shot by that young man, 57%. No, that's, I'm sorry, partner. That's, that's the same set they ran at the beginning of the game and, and scored a deuce on it. Full confidence was all I was going to say. Yep. Not on that one. Long rebound to Morris. Yeah, he shot that one with some stiff legs. Got to get them legs bent up on your toes. One point advantage. Harris. Off to Mag. He's dribbling in no man's land for a second there. Colin Harris, the drive, the kick to Morris. Now Aiden Harris backs it out onto the Rocket logo. Good defense from Donaldson here. Forced the switch, Aiden Harris inside, lays it in. Two big baskets for Harris early on in this second overtime. Yeah, he had his mind made up, stop me, because I'm going to the rim. Yoder comes to the elbow. Now off to Boblet. Nice close out. Boblet dishes it. Soper. Three. Ginther for the tie. Great execution there by the Pirates. Making the extra pass, using the shot fake. Springfield fireworks three pointer. Another one for Ginther and the Pirates to tie it back up at 53. Aiden Harris, doubled, needs to get rid of it. Timeout taken by Coach Lee. Smart call, 2.03 to go here in overtime number two. We're tied at 53. Tonight's scoreboard presented by Sprunger Insurance with locations in Pandora and Bluffton. Go Rockets. Also, Springfield Fireworks in Bluffton, your one-stop shop for the largest selection of fireworks and novelty items. Open seven days a week, nine to seven. Springfield Fireworks, your three-point sponsor tonight. Bluffton 53, Pandora Gilboa 53. And Coach Lee calling the timeout there to save the possession. You know, in my years of being an assistant coach, Bluffton has always been a team that is very difficult to scout. And you look at the box scores right now up on the board, you know, there's three in double figures, one with eight, another mm -hmm. one with five. Just They just do, do so many things, and they play such team basketball. A lot of people don't, you know, seem to forget that Coach Boblett was the state coach of the year. Mm -hmm. He had a heck of a run. And his team up to the challenge here tonight against PG. Colin Harris inside, nice find. Bucket and one for Nate Mag, who muscled up and finished at the rim. Man, is he athletic and quick off the floor. He elevated and, I mean, just took that thing up strong. But man, he is so quick off the bounce. Nice pass, nice finish. Huge bucket for Nate Mag. 
Now is six points in the ball game. And the foul going there to Carson Soper, his third. And really nobody in foul trouble with the exception of Derrick Mag. I know Bluffton's got a few with three, but that's not a concern. Throw. Couple missed free throws down the stretch of the fourth quarter and overtime for PG. Two point lead. Carson Soper needs some help here. Got to get rid of it. And just did to Donaldson. Donaldson handoff Soper. Step back. Gave it up Donaldson. Drive inside. Kick out Boblet. Open deep quarter. Three. Boblet hits another. Springfield Fireworks three-pointer. Did you Clinton. notice what he did on the dribble penetration? Boblet was coming to the basket. He retreated and got a good angle, you know, for that pass in the corner for the deep three. Clutch three-pointer after clutch three-pointer for Bluffton. Under a minute to go in the second overtime. Aiden Harris with the basketball, needs to dribble. Donaldson was close enough to him. Back it out. Screen set. Aiden Harris drives. Dishes. Colin Harris, who's fouled by Soper. Fourth foul on Carson Soper. And Colin Harris to the line. With 32 seconds remaining. Soper. <laughs> <laughs> an intriguing expression on his face here. That's a big foul. Coach Bobla didn't say much from the bench, but was certainly flustered. Every call big. Webb Insurance Agency trip to the free throw line, serving Lima and Allen County for more than 100 years with offices in downtown Lima and Bluffton. Harris ties the game. Three for three tonight. I mean, both of these coaches are going to be exhausted after tonight, as well as the kids. Can Colin Harris give PG the lead? He can't. Rebound, Huffman. He throws out and collected the miss. Now PG with Aiden Harris, that's a foul. Aiden Harris, they reached and grabbed Aiden Harris there. I think they got Soper. If that's Soper, that's it. That was not a great foul there by the Pirates in that situation, although. Well, and I'm not, you know, my concern is, is it's a tie ball game. Yeah. You know, buckle down and get a stop. And maybe they didn't realize that the game was tied. That's quite possible because it seemed like they were scrambling in that situation. And now Carson Soper out of this game and Bluffton's gonna have to find another ball handler to work a possession here because the Rockets at most will be leading by two and Bluffton gets the ball back. Soper fouls out with 13 points tonight. Going to be John Paul Yoder. So now another gut check here at the free throw line after Harris, Colin Harris, missed a chance to go in front. Aiden Harris does not. He does put PG in front. Great effort tonight by the 5'10 senior, Carson Soper. Only senior, believe it or not, on the Pirates roster. One more. Got it. Two big ones for Aiden Harris. Bluffton into the front court, hands it off Ginther. Down to 15 seconds. Had the ball knocked away, ball on the deck. They save it in a timeout. By Coach Boblet, they still had one in the tank and what nearly turned into a turnover that timeout saves the day for the Pirates with 12.7 remaining. Big timeout. I think Coach Lee was making sure they were not out of timeouts as well in that situation. 
Oh, you mean when he went out there? Yeah. He was asking where the ball was going to yeah. be entered from, I think. That was a concern of his. Is it going to be on the side or is it going to be underneath? And they've spotted it down underneath. Yeah, they went to the high post entry situation, but when you catch that ball at the high post, you've got to put that thing under your chin and square up with it. And when you drop it down, Pandora does a great job digging in there, and they, they knocked that one away. 58-56. Now the question, second overtime. These teams grinding away, DG. You're probably going to the rim, but if that opportunity presents itself for a three-pointer, you taking it? Yeah, am I taking it? Yeah, After you? playing a tough game last night and <laughs> yeah. turning around and playing, you know, another, what, 40 minutes tonight? Yeah, I'm taking the three. <laughs> uh, but I am dribble driving it and creating some space. And, you know, you got Bublet that's been dead eye from the left corner. You also got Donaldson that can shoot it. Ginther can shoot it. So a big moment here. No Carson Soper, of course, on the floor. He did foul out with 13 points moments ago. Donaldson will trigger this in for Bluffton. And he bounces it into Boblet. Ginther has to start moving. Ginther gives off Boblet. Boblet with four. Gives it off to the corner. A corner heave is offline, and Pandora Gilboa survives. A double overtime thriller against Bluffton. 58-56 the final. And the Rockets move to 13 and three. Bluffton in heartbreaking fashion falls to eight and seven. What a game. That is next level in terms of regulation, regular season games that you will see. We play 40 minutes and a two point final in favor of PG. Well, Big they, win. And they went to the substitution. Coach Boblin and his staff felt like bringing Kerry Wright in a six foot junior. He's capable of hitting that three, and they did exactly what we thought they would. They tried to attack the rim and create some space, and the pass was just a little bit offline to that corner. Right was open, but uh, give a lot of credit to Pandora for defending it, and what a, what a great high school game, a great environment, two well-coached teams, uh, tournament atmosphere like you said. It's tough to see somebody lose tonight. You know, Coach Boblett, you know, has to be exceptionally proud of his kids after last night's game at Spencerville and to come over here and take these guys to double overtime with a gutty, gritty effort. And then Coach Lee, you know, his kids, you know, defending his home turf, so to speak. He's got a battle coming up that we talked about their schedule. I think they've got Liberty Benton coming up mm -hmm. Friday night, if I'm not mistaken. And then they've got to go to Upper Scioto Valley. So that's another game coming up for them a stretch for them that's, you know, going into the tournament time, both these teams. I like the way they play. I think they play exceptionally hard. I think they could be some sleepers in the tournament draw, mm -hmm. but uh, just a great high school game. It's, it's, it's unfortunate that one of them has to lose. Certainly Bluffton, too, not a team you're going to want to play at all in the tournament with the amount of skilled players they have and the ability to dictate the pace of the game. PG did a tremendous job tonight, I think, of slowing them down and not letting them get on the run. But Bluffton had so many answers tonight from beyond the arc. They have so many ways they can beat you. Yes, that's, that's correct, and they can beat you off the dribble. You know, the sets they run, they run them, you know, for the most part to perfection. I mean, there is gonna be breakdowns because teams are scouting you, but uh, to do what they did tonight, to come over here and what was 17 to six at one time, and yeah. then they go on a 15-0 run or something along those lines, and or no, a 9-0 run. And, uh, but they just kept battling, kept competing. And, you know I, know, I know Todd very well and I know Mike very well, and he's, both these coaches are going to be proud of the way their kids handled themselves tonight because I'll tell you what, it was a physically played game, and, you know, cooler heads prevailed, and they, they played the game the right way. So congratulations to both teams and coaches and players. What a ball game tonight. We have one more 
uh, item of business here to take care of, and that is naming the Stolly Hustle Award winner. Make sure to check out the WSN YouTube page for highlights of tonight's winner afterwards. Who are you going with tonight, DG? Well, what do you think? You give you give me. <laughs> what do you, what do you think? I mean, well, I'm gonna go with Aiden Harris. Aiden Harris, big games in consecutive nights. Hit a couple key free throws, ultimately made the game-winning free throws at the line. But he had some very notable defensive contributions as well tonight that was impressive, in addition to going over 20 points. I agree with you. I mean, he had back-to-back -back weekends. He, You know, he's the heart and soul of the team. He does so much for them. I think he's a perfect, a perfect pick tonight to be our award winner. And both these teams, Columbus Grove is the next team on the schedule for both of them. Coming up on Tuesday, PG will play Grove in PCL action, and then Friday, Grove will head to Bluffton to play these Pirates, who will take a much-needed break after two physical games and two heartbreakers this weekend. And that's no easy task. Coach Sauter does a great job at Columbus Grove. You know, he has one senior on his team. His best player tore an ACL and I had them against Spencerville, and it was a one-point game in half. So, yeah, they're going to they're gonna compete, you know, both with Bluffton and uh, it's not going to be an easy task for either Bluffton and or Pandora Gilboa coming up. What a game here from the launch pad. Pandora Gilboa edges Bluffton by a 58-56 final score. Thanks so much for joining us for this presentation of High School Hoops on WOSN. For our entire fantastic crew and my partner Darren Gilbert, I'm Kevin Peel saying good night from Pandora. Bluffton falls in a thriller to PG 58-56.